Hello dear children, our today's topic is discovery of neutron. So tell me one thing, suppose we have a bag with 1 kilogram apple and let the weight of the bag is negligible, then what will be the weight of the bag, tell me. So obviously the weight of the bag should be equal to 1 kilogram. But if the bag shows more than 1 kilogram weight, what does it mean? It means that it must have some other thing too in it. Isn't it? So similarly, as we know that from the Rutherford's nuclear model, an atom was supposed to be composed of only electron and proton. Since mass of electron is negligible as compared to the mass of proton, so the mass of an atom means atomic mass of atom should be equal to the mass of the protons only. Okay, But it has been found that for all atoms except hydrogen, Atomic mass is more than the number of proton. So to solve this problem, it was thought that there must be third particle in the atom which has to be neutral as the positive charge of the proton is already balanced by electron and has the weight almost equal to the proton. Okay. So uh, in 1932, a scientist named uh, James Chadwick while performing an experiment found that when thin foil of beryllium okay when thin foil of beryllium is bombarded with a fast moving alpha particle then beryllium becomes carbon and uh, a neutral particle which has uh, almost mass equal to the proton is obtained okay so this particle was obtained in several other nuclear reaction also the new fundamental particle was named neutron by Chadwick on account of its neutral nature. So the mass found to be equal to 1.67493 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram which is slightly higher than the mass of a proton. Now definition of neutron. So what is the definition of neutron? New, like uh, electron and proton, neutron is also a subatomic particle, is a fundamental particle. Okay. So, neutron is a subatomic particle having mass 1.675 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram equal to that of hydrogen atom and carrying no electrical charge. So, this is all about the neutron. So, this is how electron discovered. Our next topic is atomic number and mass number. So, this topic you have already learned in, in your previous class. So, what is atomic number? The number of proton present in the nucleus of an atom of a particular element is called the atomic number of that element. Means, what is atomic number? Atomic number is the number of proton present in the nucleus. Atomic number is represented by Z. So, atomic number Z equals to number of proton. If we, uh, if we talk about the neutral atom, okay. So, in that case, uh, atomic number can also be equal to the number of electron because for in, in neutral atom, number of proton is always equals to the number of proton. Next is mass number. So, what is mass number? The sum of the total number of proton and neutron present in the nucleus of an atom is called the mass number of that atom. Okay. It is represented by capital A. So, mass number A equals to number of proton plus number of neutron and collectively these are known as nucleon. So, we can also say that number uh, mass number A equals to number of nucleon. So, basically what is atomic number? Atomic number is the uh, number of proton and what is the mass number? Mass number is the num sum of number of neutron and number of proton. Next topic is isotopes and isobars. What is isotopes? The atomic species of an element possessing similar atomic number but different mass number are called isotopes of that element. Remember one thing that uh, isotopes are of the same element. Okay, Like hydrogen has three isotopes 1H1 protium, deuterium 1H2 and tritium 1H3. So they all have the same atomic number but different atomic masses. So, these are the isotopes of hydrogen. Now, what is isobar? So, unlike isotopes, isobars uh, contain what? Same number of atomic mass 
but different number of atomic number okay so the atomic species which possessed the same number uh, same mass number but different atomic number are called isobars for example 18 argon 40 19 potassium 40 and cal 20 calcium 40 are the isobars next topic is isotones so what is isotones atoms having same number of neutrons but different mass number are called isotones okay so for example 14 silicon 30 so there are 14 protons in silicon and 16 neutron 30 minus 14 equals to 16 neutron and 14 proton as the atomic number is 14 15 phosphorus 31 15 protons are there and 31 minus 15 equals to 16 neutron and in 16 sulfur 32 16 protons are there and 32 minus 16 16 neutrons are there okay so they all have the same atom, uh, same new, uh, number of neutron but different mass number Di why different mass number because they all have the different at proton okay so this is the isotones next and last topic is isoelectronic atoms and ions so what is isoelectronic the species containing same number of electrons are called isoelectronic okay so they contain same number of electron for example o negative negative f negative na positive mg plus 2 al plus 3 and ne are isoelectronic for uh, for example uh, oxygen uh, what is the atomic number of oxygen 8 it contains minus 2 negative charge so 8 plus 2 10 so it has 10 electron now Fluorine. What is the atomic number of fluorine? 9. It contains uh, 1 negative charge means 9 plus 1 again 10 electron. Sodium contains 11 electron means atomic number of sodium is 11 and it possesses the positive 1 positive charge. So we have to subtract 1. So 11 minus 1 again 10 electron. Magnesium. Atomic number of magnesium is 12. It contains 2 positive charge. So 12 minus 2 means 10 electron. Aluminium 13, atomic number of aluminium is 13 and plus 3, so we have to subtract 3, so uh, 13 minus 3, 10 electron. And this is the uh, neon, what is the atomic number of neon? 10. So as you can see that they all have the 10 electrons, so they all are the isoelectronic.